Welcome back to Pearl Never Cast Lips Ear. This is CLE's Language Arts 4, Book 3. Language Arts 4, Lesson 12, Imperative Sentences. How do you write titles of respect? With, with period and capital letter. Good, if they're abbreviated, put a period in, but a capital letter at the beginning of them. Um, can you use a sentence with the word can in it? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, you can go upstairs. Okay, May. it could be May as well in that. But can works. You're able to go upstairs. Can you use one with can? Can is kind of hard. Because the horse. horse. The horse can run. Bark. Run. Pull the wagon. Cannot bark. Okay, <laughs> what is a punctuation key? Good, a little box at the bottom of the dictionary page that tells you how words are pronounced, explains, explains the pronunciation. Um, use a sentence, make up a sentence using it's with an apostrophe. Either of you. It's, it's Mr. Kyle. It's Mr. Kyle. It is Mr. It's Kyle. Getting windy. It's getting windy. It is getting windy. Great, great. Okay, let's add punctuation to the sentence. What a big bubble. Exclamation. Exclamation point. Wow! Exclamation point. Tony jogged around the block. Period. 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 Okay, this sentence is a... Declarative. Declarative. And this exclamatory. is a... Exclamatory. 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 Great. And today we're going to talk about one more kind of sentence. And this is imperative. So imperative is kind of a big word for us. What imperative means is you must do this. And I could use it in a sentence like this. I say... It is imperative for you to pay attention in class. That means it is very important for you to pay attention in class. You must do this. Imperative sentences are commands. Mm -hmm. And it means like, look at the ball or something like that? Good, a command. Look at the ball. Please be quiet. This is an imperative sentence. This is something you must do. It's a command. Um, and often, what is the subject of this? Please be quiet. Um, What is the subject of this sentence? B. Nothing. B. It doesn't have anything. There's no subject there. B is a verb. And you understood is a subject of the sentence. But we're not really talking about this lesson. But imperative sentences usually don't have the subject actually written there. And in fact, I believe the correct rule of an imperative sentence would be that it never has the um, subject Shut written there. Shut the door, there. Candy. That's an imperative. Good. That's an imperative sentence. What's the subject? Candy. Uh, no, that's the noun of direct address, actually. That's who's being talked to. Again, it is you understood as the subject of those. It's strange. But, um, but almost, I want to say, all imperative sentences have you understood. And they are commands. That's really all we have in this lesson. It doesn't seem that terribly hard to me. You get to make a few sentences. Command or request. You could say you're kind of asking someone to do something, but it's kind of like a command. Like you say, stand for prayer. That's kind of a request, you know, please stand for prayer. This might be, please be quiet, I'm, I'm requesting something. But it's also like a command, please be quiet. You must listen. Okay, please carry on with your work. Please get a good score. <laughs>